and welcome back to Good Morning Mississippi. Steve is now on the road. If you're driving between Greenville and Greenwood, look out for him, guys. He'll be on his way to Greenwood right now. He'll be uh, reporting from Greenwood during the Good Morning America, so stay tuned for that. But all the sweet tooth people out there, which is me, I have a huge sweet tooth. We're making something fun this morning. What are we making? We are making Neiman Marcus brownies, and it is fabulous. Um, it's an easy way to kick it up a notch on brownies. <laughs> Kids can help you with this. I mean, everybody loves it. It's just so moist and easy. So let's get started. I have enough for uh, everybody to make one. Yay, so, I'm so excited. The first thing you have is your cake mix right here. You have just a We're yellow set cake up. mix, and you have a German chocolate cake mix. Look at so, all the things you brought uh -huh. us. Yep, so just uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put one cup, uh, one half cup of butter over in there. So there's your butter. And everything is already perfectly mm -hmm. melted for yep. us, Joe. Yep. Measure yep. it out. You make yep. our lives so much easier. Absolutely. And then the, uh, go ahead and mix that a little bit and then we're going to put our egg in there. So um, if you want to go ahead and put your Only egg in there, let me kind of yeah. wiggle your egg around, kind of bust okay. up the yellow. Go ahead and put that in there. Now what we want to do is just mix that really good so that we can um, make a little crust out of okay. it. Okay. Okay. So you got to really wiggle around with it a little bit and we're going to put it over in our pan. Okay. Um, in just a second, I'm going to go ahead and spray y'all's pan. It goes really easy. Can you kind of, there you go. There we go. There you go. Yep. I'm going to spray your little pan there so it won't stick. We've already made a couple of them that we're going to eat there. So, <laughs> let's see, Molly, how you doing there? Hey, it's going. It's Good. going. <laughs> yeah, here, let's see. Let's just kind of grind it on around there. There we I go. I love baking. And so it kind of looks like it's not going to get mixed up, but it does. You I see it slowly to, but surely. Yeah, how are you doing with yours? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. okay. I'll come over there and help you just a little I got bit. that chocolate, Lucy. It looks so good. Yeah, and you got the blondie blondie. Hey, yes, it'll complement your Reese breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's sad. So, um, this is just the crust. And what we do is we've got our oven preheated to 300 degrees. Okay. Um, so, what you can do there, Molly, is you can go ahead and put it over in that uh, little pan right there. And then we're going to kind of squish it on down. How you I doing? got it. You're I got doing it. good. Oh, my gosh. You're a good workout. You always act so surprised, Joe, when I do no, well. No, I'm just saying you're doing good. That's great. So, you can probably go ahead and put yours in your pan, too. And okay. you can kind of go ahead and make it to where it'll kind of crust on up there just you, a little bit. Okay. You want me to put it you over got in it. there? I'm getting tired. I'm getting okay. tired. <laughs> 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 so work out. So work out for the day. My arms so We so have toned. this little spatularette thing right here that just kind of yeah. gathers it all up and puts it right on over in there. So it does really good. And I'm looking at the finished product. You bought some for us. How is this different than a normal brownie? I know it's we're it going to figure out. It kind of has a little bit of a layer to it. Yeah. You, know, you have your brownie on the bottom and then you have a little uh, Cooey, uh, gooey crust that's up cool. on the top. Cool, yeah, so I see that. So now what I want you to do is just kind of smear it all around. Okay, the back. I got this. I got How this. How you doing over there, Lucy? I, I mean, uh, Molly, <laughs> I'm good. I think it's coming along great. Good, good. So if you just get your crust all down in there, we we'll right. smear it all around. Then we have one more little thing that we got to mix. How'd you find this recipe online? Um, actually, a friend of mine. Her name is um, uh, she's uh. Uh, Fatizi. She's a Fatizi girl. Oh yeah. From um, Leland, and she gives she gave me this recipe to use to make one time, and I, ever since then I have you know that's the best way to get a recipe. Yeah, from it's friends. It's from a friend. Pass yeah. them down from from friend to friend, and then you just kind of enjoy them and um, just keep on making them. So we okay. made the crust. So I'm gonna show now, mine. Yep. Yep. See that? You and crust. you would never think to make a crust out of cake mix. Mix. That's right. I mean, that's gonna be a yeah, good it's crust. Yeah, cool. So the next thing really that crust, you're yeah. gonna do is you have a, a whole box of powdered sugar. And I we're love powdered sugar. Yep. Yep. You got powdered sugar. We're gonna mix. Wait. We're gonna mix. Oh, sorry. Cup. We're gonna mix a half a cup of butter. With. Okay. Um, and you probably need to use your spatula again. Let's use your oh, spatula. Oh, spatula. Mm-hmm. And then, um, and here's your special right here. Okay. And then what we have is we have our uh, cream cheese. Cream cheese. So we cheese. have powdered sugar, we have butter, and we have cream cheese. Now this is going to make our little topping, our filling topping. So far, we've put everything in here that I like. We're yes. <laughs> I agree. Nothing is uh, powdered sugar, cake mix. Whoa, yeah, that's cream cheese is heavy. Are you trying to? Hurt my arms over here. I'm not strong enough for this. Yeah, mix that all up there. Is so. this going to become chocolatey or is it going to stay this um, white color? Your, see, yours will have chocolate on the bottom and have the little white on the top. Okay, this cool. This is yours over here. Oh, wow. And hers will be uh, the vanilla on the bottom with then the vanilla topping on the top. Oh, I got to get your cream cheese. And she has extra eggs over there. Why is that? Is that something else? We have to put our eggs in there too. We have more eggs going in here. Oh so, my so we have two eggs in there. So, so far we've got the cake crust. Now we've got this powdered sugar filling. This is awesome. Yeah, and the the little uh, filling is what cooks. Oh, doesn't that look good? Lisa? Yeah, it does. Here, let's really put good. your little eggs More in eggs there. More eggs in there? Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. 
And let's put your eggs in there. This is like a and science experiment. And the last <laughs> thing that we're going to do is we're going to make vanilla. We're going to put a little okay. vanilla flavoring in there. Okay, cool. You're doing good yeah, over here, Molly. Yeah, we're going to finish up in this part of the show. Yeah. I know we're going a little heavy, but we'll, I want to make sure we get these all into the, the there dish. There you go. And then we'll try them in the second half. There we go. Okay. Vanilla's so good. Now we have all of our ingredients in there. So you just mix that up, and then we're going to pour it on top of the crust. You think I should do it now? Pour yeah, it? Yeah, you can. Yeah, that'd be good. And then once we pour it over the top of the crust, and we're going to pop it in the oven and bake it at 300 degrees okay. for 55 minutes. Okay, so ours and won't quite make it this show. Then, then when you bake it, it still looks a little bit jiggly, but you pull it on out because it'll set on up, and it is just divine. Oh, my goodness. So, and we have made two that I made last night, and we're going to go ahead and bring those out and cut those and try those when we come back. This hey, looks so look good. good. Look, you are doing so good. Oh, you oh, want to pour yours on there? Yeah. Is it ready to go? Yes, yeah, yeah, ready to go. I can't wait to see how these turn out, and you already made them for us, Joe. You always go above and beyond in preparing us. You make us look good like we know what we're doing over here. <laughs> At the very end, you might want to sprinkle just a little bit of pecans. Let's just sprinkle like a little that. bit of okay. pecans on the Perfect. top. To give it a little nuttier flavor. There we go. Perfect. Well, we're going to put these in the oven. I can't wait to try these in a little bit. Joe, you're the best. Here are your rivers, guys. We'll be right back. You know, this is really um, New England weather right now. You know, you get, like, this is what we get, like, in August. You get the really hot during the day, you, and uh -huh. then at night you need that jean really jacket mm -hmm. and the pants and everything. But it's honestly perfect. I feel like, you right, Joe? Late definitely, September, October? Definitely football weather. That's football we weather. Football weather. Exactly. Yeah. But it looks beautiful. It looks and like we've got a good stretch. And I think the breeze, too. I mean, you can actually yeah. feel the weather coming in. And I just, you know, I'll stand outside and I'll just feel like, this is so refreshing. Yeah, it's you cool know, air. Have, I mean, it's been so humid, and mm -hmm. there, there hasn't been a whole lot of wind unless it's a lot of heat. Exactly. And now it's just kind of like, all right, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's time to get out and start walking, doing yeah. some exercising, run, and get some fresh air, and get some good sunshine. we got to work and off our Neiman cool. Marcus And Joe, so, actually, you know, you, we always talk about this behind the scenes. Even though we have these in, the indulgent brownies, you've been losing weight and walk, working out and everything. What I have. You been doing? I've been working at it since February, and I've mm -hmm. lost 35 pounds. Congratulations. That is so amazing. Yeah. And you wear these, uh, you wear your same little <laughs> chef's Outfit every day, so we can't quite see here. But I always notice when I see you in person. Uh -huh. well, I don't know if people you. can see from at home. Thank but you. It's all about uh, discipline, portion control, exercise, fresh air, sunshine. You know. You walk a lot. You I said? do, and I swim. You I do? swim, swim laps. So um, it's just all about uh, getting into a routine. How did you? Being what, aware. What motivated you to do that in the first place? I wanted to be healthy. Yeah. I just decided that I didn't want all that fat around my heart, and I wanted you to get healthy. And I'm looking forward to my grandchildren one of these days. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yay. That's so that's so wonderful. Yeah. You we know, just you're... all need to be kind of aware of what we eat and what we do. So um, it's a good thing. And then once you ever get it mindset, you can do it. So that's true. I've been working at it. I think that's smart. And it's like also once you realize it's a good thing, it's not a punishment. You're right. doing this for your future. Um, that's the mindset that I think helps people go. I'm going to go on this walk for myself, not because I have to. You know, it's well, you it's, start to enjoy it. And it's a lot easier too if you have someone to do it with. I know yeah, Lucy and I try to work out every yeah, night together. And if one day I say I don't feel like working out, she'll be like, Oh, come on, and, yeah. you know, and vice versa. Well, more like <laughs> I say I don't want to work out, and Molly says, Oh, come on. But it's true, we do work out. I've well, been working that's a lot good with that you. Y'all kind of buddy up because it is good yeah. to have a buddy. It, it does help. We can all go on walks together. In moments oh, of yeah. weakness, you have someone there, you know, support you and say, Keep going. Yeah. it's worth it. Especially when you're just challenged and faced with all the goodies that we love to eat in the Delta, you know, having someone be like, all right, put down that third brownie. Well, you can't <laughs> punish yourself by not eating good things. You just got to eat it in moderate. You know, mm -hmm. you kind of have to splurge on it here and there and yonder mm -hmm. and don't eat four or five or the whole pan, just eat one. You yeah, know? and then and then go on a walk that day right. or whatever. Well, we do have the ne Neiman Marcus brownies here that we made on today. That note. And it's Krista Fatizi that gave me this recipe, mm -hmm. and she works at Monsanto's and lives in Leland. And she has got the most wonderful recipe. She's always sharing something with me. And what this is is a cake mix. You can okay. use a chocolate cake mix or a yellow shake cake mix. And you also have your sugared uh, cream of sugar, uh, your uh, confection of sugar. sugar. You have vanilla, you have cream cheese, and you have butter, and you have egg. So I have this recipe on my website as well as on my Facebook page. Okay. So you can go to that and get the recipe. And as Lucy and Molly can show you, it was easy and simple to mix up. It didn't then take long. Yeah, exactly. And right. it turns out really turns well. Out perfect. And um, kids love it. Adults love it. Just anybody loves it. You could take this to a church function. You know, yeah. when you have a church luncheon and you wanted to take a dessert, it's really easy to do. So and you, you cook it on 300 degrees and 55 minutes. 55, okay. And when okay. you look at it, it might not be all the way cooked. It might still be a little bit good. Soft. But 
pull it on out. Okay. So 55 minutes is plenty of time. Let it sit and cool on the counter, and then when you eat, it still has that little bit yeah. of greenness to it. So yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it, it I think really you'll is enjoy so good. it if you want to try it. And if you have any problems with it, you can just give me a call. Um, my number is 662-820-9903, um, Joe Harris. And also, if you're planning any parties coming up, you yeah. know, your Halloween parties or your Thanksgiving meals mm -hmm. or your Christmas. We've got, uh, yesterday I got three calls about Christmas. Give me a call because uh, <laughs> that's what we do. We take care of all of your catering needs and party planning. Exactly. I think you helped with my Christmas last year, right? I did. did you? I, Time I, flies. I think it's it was already Thanksgiving. Your, Thanksgiving. Your mother and father came yeah. up. Yeah. And you were also busy last week. We didn't have you last week because you went to a wedding. How we was that? We had a wonderful wedding in Cleveland. It was at the Catholic Church. Um, I brought these beautiful hydrangeas that we oh, used. Lovely. Oh, lovely. Wow. Um, and it just was fabulous. It had 300 people. Everything wow. was gorgeous. The bride gave me a hug and a kiss. Oh. And said she, I made a lifetime memory oh, for that's her. Awesome. I love that. Well, Joe, yeah. you always do above and beyond for us here in the morning show. These are so good. A good sweet breakfast this morning, guys. We want to wish everybody a happy birthday. We'll be right back.